right, so we're here in Zion National Park and I finally got to make an exposure on 8x10. Uh, it's been a while. So I put a frame of Velvia 100 on this scene behind me. I scouted it yesterday and um, I photographed it digitally just to see how it would come out. And then last night I went uh, back to camp, post-process the image in Lightroom to see how it would turn out with a film, you know, filter and Lightroom on it and everything. And um, I actually was super happy with it. So I came all the way back out here today uh, with the new Intrepid 8x10 Gen 2 that I'm uh, testing out for the first time. So uh, this is going to be this is probably the best 8x10 I've had to work with so far, but um, I like the new uh, rear uh, focus mechanism. They put this knob on the back, whereas before you had these plastic knobs on the front, and the new one is metal, so it's a lot easier to focus. And then um, they've separated out the front standard movements, which is really nice too. So. Anyway, looking forward to shooting a bunch more film this week in Zion. I was just about to pack up and take off when I got out the viewfinder app just to kind of fool around with it and see what I could find. And I found this other composition, which um, is a vertical composition that has this wall here kind of sweeping in from one side. And that includes some of this foreground down here and goes up and gets some of these leaves. I think the, the wall provides these really dramatic leading lines coming into the, into the frame. Um, and then you just have enough fall colors to establish it as a fall color image. So I'm actually more excited about this composition than I am about the previous one. And I suppose this one like the previous one on Velvia 100. This was an eight second exposure. And as you can see, the wind is ridiculous right now. Believe it or not, the wind completely stopped and the leaves did not budge for eight seconds, which was fantastic and I was able to get the image. Uh, should be razor sharp, so we'll see how it turns out. That was at F45. Anyway, I think now we're finally gonna pack up and head down this wash. I've been here for like two hours on this one scene, so that's eight by 10 for you. This is a, another image that I shot on digital yesterday. It's a vertical scene like of these beautiful maple leaves, with this cracked mud underneath. And um, I am shooting it right now on Velvia 50, but I had my film holders for the 8x10 full before the trip, and they had two sheets of Velvia 100 and two sheets of Ektar 100. I've already shot the Velvia and I don't want to use the Ektar because it's not really ideal for this scene and it would just be a waste. And so um, I have um, borrowing this Pentax 67 MLU, uh, which I've been really wanting to test out for a while because I've always loved the Pentax 67 design and I'm really surprised by how much I'm enjoying shooting it. It's really surprising how light it feels in your hand, even though it's like a five pound camera, um, but the, it's just really well balanced and uh, it's a lot of fun to shoot with. It's made like a tank. And um, so yeah, I, I shot two exposures of this on Velvia 50 on six by seven. And I really love six by seven. So they, it's the perfect aspect ratio and it just creates a beautiful negative. So um, shout out to Will for letting me uh, borrow his amazing camera. And uh, here, let me show you something cool. So this is this is his setup for uh, telling how the which film is in the camera. So it's masking tape, and then there's a list of all the popular films that you could use on this camera. And then you could put another piece of masking tape like an arrow, and you just move it according to whichever film stock is in the camera. Because this camera does not have the slot for the um, for the film indicator. So that's just kind of a cool hack to solve that problem. So clever solution. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun shooting the 6.7 and then mixing that up with the 8.10 today. And I think we're going to pack it out because it's like 5.40 right now. It's going to get dark soon and we're going to lose the light. So we've got a good hike to get out of here still to get back to the car. So it's been a beautiful day out here in Zion National Park though. And uh, really great conditions, not too windy and uh, lots of really good light.
Well, we were just about back to the car when we spotted this maple that we had scouted earlier today. And earlier it was covered in bleached out sunlight and the light was no good. But now, walk back through, it's in perfectly soft light. There's no wind, the leaves are perfectly still. And, oh, it's just so perfect. It's like a photograph on a silver platter. So, um, I shot this on Provia 100 on uh, the Pentax 6.7. Yeah, I think it's gonna come out great. It looks perfect. And the leaves were just completely still for that one second.